Fenusha's Citizenship by Investment program has repeatedly been accused of corruption for months by Felipe Martinez, a passport vendor for St. Kitts and Nevis. Martinez is fighting a court battle in the U.S. against the Chinese passport vendor Caribbean Galaxy, in which he has named multiple St. Lucian CIP officials he accuses of corruption. The government has been disturbingly silent about Martinez's accusations, citing the fact that any comments they make could prejudice their case in court. But now, Investment Minister Dr. Ernest Hillier is breaking the silence and branding those who have peddled in what he calls misinformation as committing treason. They had it all over that St. Lucia was about to lose its access. It has not happened. Today, it is a sustained campaign for St. Lucia to lose its correspondent banking relationships. Now, why would you want your country to lose such a critical ingredient for the sustenance of its economy and the livelihood of its people? This is, in my view, treasonous. Dr. Hilaire, in a passionate speech to the Chamber of Commerce at their regular luncheon event, questioned why Alan Chastney's United Workers' Party would assist Martinez in their efforts to smear St. Lucia's reputation, even though Martinez's case is not against St. Lucia, but against Caribbean Galaxy. Why is the opposition in league with Martinez? It cannot be that they don't believe in Galaxy. The truth is that Galaxy was brought to St. Lucia by the Alan Chastney administration. Such political opportunism was further manifested in the Martinez-Rico case, as Martinez admitted that he got information from the opposition. Both Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre and Dr. Hillier have repeatedly warned that even though Martinez is targeting St. Lucians personally in his case against Galaxy, he has filed no case against St. Lucia. Our position has been a simple one. If Martinez has an issue with Galaxy and persons in St. Kitts, then he should proceed to the courts in St. Kitts to settle the matter. That is how we deal with issues in our part of the world. I cannot be expected as minister to agree to act against Galaxy simply because Martinez has asked us to do so. It would be grossly irresponsible. The investment minister also had some very personal criticism of the integrity of Philip Martinez's character. Does anyone believe that Martinez loves St. Lucia? That he cares about us? and that he's doing this for our benefit? How does someone sue a company for damages and loss, but spend more time on talk shows and showboating and exposing anyone he's had private conversations with? How does bullying and threatening staff and board members of the CIP and other institutions show sincerity on the part of Felipe? The investment minister declined to go deeper into detail, citing the pending court case. This leaves St. Lucians with unanswered questions, including, why hasn't the government countersued Philip Martinez for reputational damage if he is putting out false information? Is the government comfortable with their relationship with Caribbean Galaxy in spite of their record of failure in other CIP jurisdictions? When will the government release the annual reports on St. Lucia's CIP from the last administration's tenure? And which local agent was Dr. Hilaire referring to as the largest agent acting on behalf of Caribbean Galaxy when they first partnered with St. Lucia? Choice Having News is delving deeper into Dr. Hilaire's explosive remarks at the Chamber of Commerce. We will bring you more details in the coming days. This is Jason Seatley for Choice News Now.